Okay, so we're working with CS5. This technique can be done in any version of Dreamweaver, CS3, or greater. We're going to make columns without tables. We're going to make columns without extra div tags. A very simple, simple method to make columns using CSS. So to get started, notice that I have my basic CSS tags here. I have my asterisk tag, which is set everything to zero. Body tag, paragraph tag, h1 tag, image tag, have a wrapper tag. That's my only div tag so far. So here's how we're going to make columns, the simple, painless, simple, simple, simple way. We're going to select this content, hit command T for quick tag editor. We're going to wrap it inside of a span tag, S P A N. Hit the return key once, twice. If you look at the bottom here, this is now inside of a span tag. We're now going to put this inside of a span tag. Command T, S P A N, hit the return key once, twice. And now these two paragraphs are in a span tag. And these two paragraphs are in a span tag. We're now going to create a rule for the span tag. Select the tag, make rule. Select the tag, make rule. Select the span tag. Come over here to your CSS. This palette, new CSS rule. Now, I can be specific for this particular wrapper, which I will do. So I'm going to create a span tag. I'm going to create two columns. So the simplest way to do this is to split it into percentages. So we're going to basically set this up into two columns. I'm not going to do 50% because I need to leave room for padding and margin space. I'm going to do 44%. 44%, 2 percent of padding and 1% of margin space to the right and float this to the left. So if I hit the apply option, there are my two columns. Very simply, very nicely done. You can position these either way by making further changes to the CSS tags. That's how you simply make two columns without jumping through hoops, no tables, no extra div tags, two columns via the span tag.